Chris Garrett doesn't do things halfway. At his Dover, New Hampshire shop, he's created a personal candy land. Do you have any idea how many different candies are in here? I would say about 10,000 different items, if I had to guess. And the milkshakes here at Licky's and Chewy's are as over the top as the rest of the shop. Most people finish the shake and maybe save some of the other stuff for later, or they just eat the stuff on top. Right? So that. Garrett showed us how one of his king shakes gets assembled. So, what are the parts here? Well, we've got a lot all of gummies. these fun gummies that are all ocean themed, and then we've got what we call seaweed, otherwise known as the sour belts, and some cakes to put on top. So there is so much stuff on there, wouldn't it be easier to serve that with a knife and fork? <laughs> Ice cream and milkshakes weren't supposed to be such a thing at Licky's and Chewy's, but they quickly picked up fans. We did it as just a fun extra thing. That turned into the single biggest thing that we've ever done here. It's definitely what draws folks in. Made 35,000 shakes last year alone. You want a big lollipop? Yeah, this time I do. Mm. <laughs> Sometimes we get frozen you, bananas. And then you two get ice cream. I oh. get a lollipop. Okay. <laughs> What'd you get? If the King Shakes aren't enough to give you a sugar rush, this 5,000 square foot space offers plenty of other options, from classic treats to mm, questionable ones. The whole experience is a childhood dream come true for Garrett. As a kid, I love the idea of having 25 cents or a dollar and going into a candy store and be able to pick out like two or three things that I liked. Garrett went on to serve in the Air Force for 25 years and uses that experience to inspire his supply of sweets. Given the opportunity to travel all over the world from England to Germany to Japan, Korea, China, Afghanistan, I got to see candy in all these different parts of the world. If I found something I liked, I wrote down a little note so that in the future I was able to kind of follow up. Even the name Lickies and Chewies ties back to his service time. It was Christmas time, we were in Afghanistan, and we had a bunch of candy and cookies that have been sent in care packages from family overseas. And a buddy of mine was sitting there and he goes, man, that's a lot of Lickies and Chewies. And of course, I'm just like, a lot of what? He's like, yeah, it's an old military term. I was like, I'm opening a candy store with that name someday. As far as the candy's concerned, it's really just about how it makes people feel. And Chris Garrett's creativity doesn't stop with the King Shakes. He's also created a whole medieval world called Carmela, you got that? Along with developing characters who live there, they include a knight named Licky and a dragon named Chewy. And that is Chronicle 4 tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Shana Seymour. We hope to see you back here tomorrow night for another edition of Chronicle. Good night, everyone.